everyone this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel it's a beautiful day and uh, I thought I'd show you a little close-up of our two puppies over here enjoying two bones that I pulled out of the freezer for them they'll be out here all day with those and uh, so here's the clips right now So here in Central Oregon, uh, we have kind of a late uh, last freeze date. It's like middle of June oh, and can't actually go up to July. But I thought I'd show you how people measure the last freeze date or when they could start planting in their yards. Is we have, a mount, we have several mountains. We have seven mountains you can see from here. But there's a butte called Black Butte. And you can actually see it from our driveway. And uh, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. So here's a picture of it right now. Now that you've seen um, what we call Black Butte, uh, the saying is around here, when the snow is completely gone from Black Butte, then you can start planting your seeds into the ground. And uh, it's like May, 11th right now and uh, it's fairly close it's still a little snow up there but uh, actually uh, <coughs> it's amazing sorry how uh, close it's going to be to that actual last freeze date so anyways here in Central Oregon they have some other mountains that they use for different regions in Central Oregon but uh, here it's Black Butte one of the amazing things around here uh, when it's uh becoming spring is how quickly all the vegetation explodes into uh, leaves and greens and also the critters start come out with lizards are everywhere now but uh in fact there's a lizard right there and uh another phenomenon which i've never noticed in here before but uh we've got caterpillars and uh we got a lot of them and uh, I'll use the other camera so you can get a closer look at it. And it's kind of funny how they're kind of twitching their bodies. I wonder what that means. Anyway, here, let me show you. Not sure if they're trying to break loose or what, but uh. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about those. I'm not too worried about some of the vegetation around here. Uh, but I may spray it. I don't know. But live and let live too. So anyway. <laughs> parts of spring spring. So for the few of you who have been asking about Central Oregon. And asking if this is a good place to move to. <laughs> in a way I'd like to say absolutely not. But uh, I will tell you <laughs> it is a good place. Uh, the people are relatively friendly. However, uh, I've been here since 1999. I've been gone for a while and came back. And it has changed a little bit people-wise. Uh, I think with uh, the expanse of people from California moving up and stuff like that, uh, I've noticed people drive a little faster, a little bit more in a rush, and uh, a little less likely to stop on the side of the road to help you, like the old days. Um, but generally speaking, it's still got a, uh, its old Central Oregon flavor. Uh, in the area that I'm in, uh, in Central Oregon, um, I'm between, I'll just say I'm between Terrebonne and Madras. Uh, nothing's really changed much. Madras has been cleaned up to be a n much nicer town. Uh, the properties, the stores, everything's pretty much the same. Some have different names new owners things like that but uh all in all it hasn't changed much in 20 some odd years um but with technology and people coming from states that they're running away from and yet they still want to bring some of their habits with them uh you know uh definitely more rules uh but not that bad and it's still a really good place to uh to uh, move to 
the housing prices have gone up just like everybody else's uh, even though you can sell a house you can sell a house for a lot more in places like Seattle and LA and uh, actually with the funds you get from that could buy a complete place like this with five acres um, however our prices are going up and there is bidding wars um, just because uh, uh, property with land is getting harder and harder to find um, some of the characteristics about this area is there's a lot of sunshine doesn't mean it's warm just means there's a lot of sunshine uh, when it comes to critters uh, our worst critters is we do have black widows you will see scorpions occasionally very very rare black uh, widows they don't want nothing to do with you uh, if it's dark and it's kind of moist that's where they hang out so just be careful and we do have rattlesnakes but nothing like phoenix or anything like that uh, they will be in the most obvious places near rivers and rocky areas and uh, I have yet to ever see one up here in the upper away from the we have a very large uh, uh, canyon near us you'll find them in the canyon but you don't really see them here though they like rocky areas and we're pretty flat around here but uh, I mean we still have the gardener snakes and bull snakes that we'll see in the property here but nothing nothing to be afraid of and you use common sense if uh, there's an old board or something laying on the property or a log uh, just roll it over double check make sure there's nothing there but um, I feel very safe with my pets in this property but if I was closer to the canyon or near a rocky area because not all the properties around here are flat like this one uh, they could have a couple critters hiding in there and uh, my puppy sees another puppy in the property five acre property across from us and uh, so that's why you'll hear the barking but they're trying to eat their bones at the same time so that kind of tells you uh, you know uh, bug wise it's not that bad we don't get craziness with um, uh, any unusual uh, animals here so just for your information our winters are kind of mild here I mean we do get snow and we do have different ele elevations here in Central Oregon and some areas will get more snow than others but it never s tends to stay around long uh, but out of the blue we can get a good dump but uh, once again it doesn't stay around long so uh, rain is really it does rain here but not very often and uh, but basically a lot of times we just have blue skies or or clouds but uh, we can get pretty cold in the winter it's not unusual to hang around 5 to 20 degrees um, Fahrenheit and uh, so it feels like you're living in an ice box for a couple of months but then it starts popping right out of it and uh, but we do have a, a short growing season and so you got to keep that in mind and that's one of the reasons why we created a greenhouse uh, to compensate for those uh, the late summer uh, late spring cold spells that it can you could get everything planted and be wiped out the next week so you have to be really careful there was a time when I lived here before that a lot of people knew me uh, what one of the reasons is I had a big internet company called cutting edge webs and so we handled a oh, over 600 website here here in Central Oregon back in the early 2000s I sold that company in 2003 I also tried to revive a, a newspaper here that was called the Sagebrush News and uh, it was dying it was going out of business so we took it on for about a year before we said we couldn't revive it we uh, uh, it was fun to do that I was never in the newspaper business before but uh, we thought we'd see if we could revive it but like most newspapers it was a it died and we let it die and uh, so with all that I was in the Chamber of Commerce here on a place that was called Crooked River Ranch so I was definitely involved with the community a lot I used to help out with their senior center because Sherry's mom and dad was in, were really involved with the senior center and they would volunteer us for all kinds of things down <laughs> at the senior center to help out with uh, their programs 
So I knew a lot of folks and then we were gone for a while and then we came back and it's like a whole new generation is here. I can go pretty much almost anywhere now and nobody has a clue who I am, who I was. And uh, I kind of like it that way. Uh, I don't hear about the politics. I don't hear about issues. Um, I kind of... I always tell people you should be informed and things like that, but uh, uh, it's nice at this age not to be involved in the local issues going on and who said what and who did this. So to me, this place is much more relaxing now because I'm not involved with the community stuff. Now, I'm not saying you guys shouldn't be involved in the community stuff. We need young uh conservative minds <laughs> patriots to uh be in a part of the leadership and the uh uh city councils and, and and chamber of commerces and stuff to make sure that these folks with their liberal ideas are <laughs> put in check uh some some stuff is a good idea some isn't but we still don't like you know to be told what to do here this is uh definitely americana down here and uh, freedom just means freedom and liberty is really important to us here. We don't like rules and regulations and we don't like people in our business. And uh, uh, as long as you can live with those rules, this would be a really nice place for you to live. But if you're coming up here to change everything, you won't be uh, welcomed very well. You'll feel uncomfortable all the time and people will be fighting with you all the time because they just want to be left alone. And uh, it's getting harder and harder to find places like that. Uh, if you move to our main area, like in Bend, uh, people are in your face there. But uh, uh, that's where a lot of the uh, Californians and people from uh, the liberal cities have moved to, thinking, running away from their problems there, only to, to try to recreate them here. Don't know why they do that. <laughs> but I don't know. People are people. Like one of the last things I'd bring up here is the schools. We do have good schools and the kids have some of the same problems. They're in their video games and stuff like that. And of course, the COVID has not been very helpful. Um, but uh, a lot of these kids also come from farms or mini farms. And they, uh, <laughs> they know how to work. So the parents... Uh, uh, it's 50-50, you might say. We've still got the wild and crazy kids that are kind of like city slickers. They're mostly in the Bend and Redmond areas. Farther out, you'll find a lot of kids that have to uh, do chores and uh, not necessarily have good internet, so they may not be really involved in the uh, video games. And so you, you can come across some really nice kids here and, and know how to work, and it gives them a good foundation uh, to become a really great adult. Doesn't mean that city kids can't do that too, but uh, there's still a lot of uh, uh, old principles in Americana here where people are keeping up their properties, uh, raising animals, have horses, uh, raising cattle. Um, and so a lot of them have uh, the basics of getting up every morning and taking care of the, the property and taking care of their animals and stuff. And it, it gives them good responsibilities. Um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, it's a good place for kids and the schools are pretty decent. Yes, we're having some of the same problems with, uh, uh, Common Core and all that kind of stuff, but hey, they're fighting it off pretty good here. I think one of the last things I'm going to bring up is, uh, it's still here. It isn't as bad as it used to be, but there's a thing we used to call, and I still call it the same thing. Central Oregon time, <laughs> which means they'll be here when they'll, you know, somebody says they're coming by to do something for you, electrician or something. A lot of times it's whenever they get here. And uh, um, <laughs> it's Central Oregon time. It's kind of like some of these uh, uh, Caribbean islands where they say it's, it's island time <laughs> whenever they get around to doing something. Uh, it's not that bad, but uh, Central Oregon, depending on the service you're trying to get done for you, can uh, 
definitely be on Central Oregon time. And we are low on resources. Um, all the things that you're used to having in the city aren't necessarily here. And uh, even when you go to Bend, uh, they're just, uh, they won't have all the choices that you would have in the city. I came back up from Phoenix, was getting kind of spoiled there because you can find anything you want. And here uh, you either got to order it, wait for it, or you're just not going to get it at all. Or uh, you compromise. But uh, yeah, so supply and demand. Supplies can be low here. Um, a lot of variety can be low here. Uh, but you can still get a good hamburger. So anyway, but you may not be able to get that really high-tech stove that you always wanted and this stuff and if you do you may be waiting for it for a long time and it has to be shipped to you and it could cost you actually more so uh, uh, taxes and things like that are pretty reasonable here uh, we're in, um, in a county that starts with a J for those that are in Central Oregon so our taxes are a little bit lower than what's the other ones called Deschutes County uh, that's our bigger county um, their taxes are a little higher and stuff because they encompass some of the bigger cities, which makes sense. But all in all, it's nothing like you see in some of the big cities like California, L.A., all that stuff. So, uh, once again, it's a good place to live. Cost of living is okay, but there is things that are more expensive here because we are on the other side of the mountains away from the big cities and things uh, aren't readily available or have to be shipped here. So some things are a little bit more expensive here but it all equals out so and we do have sales we don't have sales tax but we do have a state income tax so i hope that answers a lot of your questions about central oregon i'm probably giving out too many secrets but you know you're going to come here you're going to come here um i just like to warn you to enjoy the area enjoy your freedom and liberty and understand your neighbors want freedom and liberty too which means stay out of their business and they'll stay out of yours uh, and leave your liberal ideas if you're from those kind of cities at those cities there's a reason why you're leaving those cities is because of all that and uh, here we just want to be left alone so guys I hope that was a nice video to give you an idea what Central Oregon's like and uh, I try to do these every six months or so in case I change my mind. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway, guys, uh, don't forget to take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate that. And in the comments below, say hello and uh, share our video all over you and help us grow. We appreciate it. So guys, have a great day. Be safe. We'll talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.